it's time to make the dice for my Monopoly game. I've got my six game pieces and I am going to move now to another layer here. I'm going to look from top view and hit Shift A Mesh Plane. I'm going to leave the default size but I'm going to go into edit mode and with it selected I'm going to hit W, subdivide and for number of cuts I'm going to put 9. All right. I'm going to go back into object mode and array and X, give myself a bit of space so I can differentiate between them. Put my count to six for the six sides of the dice. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. So now when I go into edit mode, I've got all of that. Okay, and now I'm going to indicate the spaces for the holes. So the face selection, I'm going to hit C, and right in the middle I'm going to click so I get these four um, faces selected. And I'm going to make that into a, into a hole. Uh, I'm going to move to the next one and I'm going to call there and there, leaving sort of a one uh, polygon border. Hit escape and then scroll down a little bit and then back into C. One, two, and the middle one for three. Just make sure I've got that balanced. Yep. Yeah. Got to hit escape to move to come out and then go right back in C. One, two, three, four. And come out here one two three four and the middle one five okay and for the last one one two three and four five six okay I'm gonna keep all of that selected and you'll note that I am in individual origins for this I'm just gonna zoom in on any particular one that I like I'm going to hit I to inset and pull in just a little ways. They're all going to be inset the same amount. W, loop tools, circle, S to scale, and it'll all individually scale. Just like that so that the circle is inside the square. And I hit X faces, and I'm going to save my work. Okay, now, these holes are going to be extruded down and scaled. But I have found that... In order to snap the pieces of the dice together better, uh, it's better to not do that yet, which gives us more work. And if you don't know what I mean right now, because I'm not explaining it well, don't worry. The next thing we need to do is to control L, P, and separate out all of these pieces. Control L and P. Control L to select all that's linked, and P to separate it into an, its own object. Control L, P. Control L P. Okay, I have now individual pieces. I'm going to select this piece and do origin and geometry on each of these individual pieces. Good, safe. Okay, the one and the six are going to go on the top and the bottom. Two, three, four, five are going to go around the sides. So I'm going to take this piece and I am, uh, well, you know what? Yeah one at a time. Rotate X90. Okay. So this piece is going to snap onto that one. So I'm going to come down here to the horseshoe thing. Snap to edge. And let's give it a try to get this guy in, in, into position. So I'm going to move it out and over. Okay. So let's get you going. I'm just going to hover over the edge that I wanted to snap to. And we're going to see how well it snaps in a bit. And that looks okay for now. So we're going to take the number th three. I'm going to rotate Y90. And bring you back. Snap, I hope. Sometimes I bring it past and then up. All right. Take the number four. Okay, we're gonna rotate X 90. I'll go from the minus. Okay, so just gonna come down in the Y and sort of select that edge and then come past in the X and then back. And so far so good. We're gonna get the number five in here. Come on over. 
the orientation doesn't really matter, so I can just rotate Y90, but all at once, and bring you in. Oh, down. And, okay. Looks pretty good. Let's go for the number six. Rotate Y 180. Okay, one and six, two. I don't know if this six should be oriented differently. Not really too worried. Um, what I'm going to do now is turn off snapping and select it all and control J and go into edit mode, W, remove doubles and hope for a lot. I think I should get about 124. So I believe we have snapped nicely. I believe. Way to check this is to cross your fingers and add subdivision surface and see how smooth it looks. Surrounding nicely. Okay, it's rounding okay, so that's a very good sign. I don't need that right now. Now it's time to extrude these in. And um, the best way that I've found to do this is um, just to individually do it. <laughs> Select the circles on a particular side of the dice, like this. And note the direction, Z, I wanna bring them in. I'm gonna go E and I'm gonna go G, Z, Try point four, not too much. GZ point two is probably what I'm going to be using. All right, and with that still selected, I'm going to go S point two as well. No, that's not going to be good. I'm going to do S point three like that. Good idea to remember what I'm doing, and I'm going to go Control F G. To grid fill no it's not gonna let me do them individually so I'm gonna come back to those anyhow so let's see if I can remember what I just did in the y direction e g y point three what's it point two g y point two in the minus though click s point two no, it was S.3, I think, S.3. So okay, I should get a similar size. So select these ones. And X, E. Uh, G, X.2. Minus. S.3. Scale.3. Okay, in the y direction, E, G, Y, point two, S, point three. Select these circles. In the x direction, E, G, X, point two. S point three. One more. In the Z direction. E. G Z point two. In the minus. S point three. And we have that so far. Let's have a look at that. Select the edge. And we're going to go mesh faces grid fill and I want this set on two and I will get this effect uh, I can also go uh, control FG to do it quicker control FG we just got to go all around and do this control FG on all of the holes control F and G
think we got them all filled. Let's try turning on our subdivision surface and clicking smooth. Well, it's one way. Go into edit mode and uh, we still need to finish this up by uh, adding an edge loop here. So just go around and control R and pull an edge loop up to near the near the top and that'll sharpen things up and make it look real nice. It takes a little bit of time but uh, it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, as you can see there, you start to get nice stuff. So I'll just go ahead and finish that up. Doesn't have to be the exact amount, exact same amount. Just close to the edge, doesn't have to be right at the surface. Ah. If you do that, uh, oh geez, don't do that. back to the first layer it's going to be huge I assume oh not too bad I guess I scaled it off camera maybe a bit I'm gonna go back to median point I've got a subdivision of two on. My polys are going up. You could consider one. I'll try that and we'll see what it looks like. Let's rotate this and that's it. Okay. There we go. 